Hey there everyone, this is Lanissa coming back to you today with another tutorial on how to make these clear shaker um, dashboards for your planners or for your Happy Mail or anything in between. So this is an old video that I filmed and i using a different tool currently but it's the same um, it's the same idea, it's the same concept. So what I use instead of using uh, the Fuse tool or instead of using washi tape or instead of sewing it or gluing it, I use a food sealer to seal up my um, shakers and my dashboard. So anything that I, um, any shaker that I make, I'm using a food sealer and I found that to be a lot quicker and a lot more effective so this one is a smaller um, food sealer that I got on Amazon it was really cheap I don't use this one anymore but it still works and gets the job done it's a handheld one and like I said I can leave a link on the one on this one but I will also leave a link on the one I'm using now which is like one one press and you're done but this one is a handheld one and you kind of see that you just go along the edges with it and it will seal up your shaker so I just take my sequin mixes and for this project I use um, the little photo sleeves like you normally use and I filled it up with my the sequin colors that I like so now that's just the basic concept so now you see me starting to embellish once I have sealed all the edges I'm taking scrap pieces of paper of anything and right now I'm just laying it out trying to see how I want it composed and so you don't have to get as decorative with it if you don't want to that's just kind of my style um, I'm also using, you see me laying down some hot pink thread and then going back in with some die cut embellishments, which I love. I love die cut embellishments. I never get tired of using them. Um, some people don't know what to do with them. I just, th I think, just don't think too much about it. They're great to layer and decorate anything that you have they're good to decorate your planner pages they're good to decorate your dashboards if you want to send some happy mail out or if you're using them in scrapbook um, layouts die cuts all the way i love die cuts so i'm using die cuts from different collections some of them crate paper and maggie holmes most of them and then I think I have a few planner society as well but this is just a, um, a range of die cut ephemera that you will see me using so right now I'm just trying to see which you know the composition and I'm also taking um, a piece of, a few pieces of paper strips I think they were one inch and I scored them and fold them in half so what I do to make this is going in my planner I fold them and then I cut them down to size so that way I will be able to punch holes in it that gives the paper just gives it an added sturdiness to it to make it easier to cut the holes so you can place them in your planner or in your scrapbook or ever whatever you want to place them in so now once I got the composition I'm beginning to adhere um, with my glue and my which which I use fabric fix here and also with my glue tape so you can just see me laying all the pieces down and I use fabric fix glue or is it fabric tac fabric fix fabric tac glue pretty much for everything you can it's for fabric but you can use it on a lot of things and it works really well so here I am again I added double-sided tape on those strips of paper and this I put it to the toward the edge so that way it'll be the right size to fit in my planner and it won't open you know it won't open up the pouch I can easily put the punch the holes into it The, sh 
um, decorating the one like once you have the shaker and this could be any size you want it once you have the shaker the real fun part is decorating it so that's what like fusing the shaker is really quick it only took me a few like a minute or so and like I said now I have like a bigger fuse tool I have such a hard time saying that but I have a bigger fuse tool all I do is press the edge one second then I move on to the next so it's really fast now and now the main part is just me decorating which is the part I enjoy the most because I don't want to spend too much time trying to fuse it the f we are memory keeper fuse tool works I'm just not a big fan of it it's high it's it take it doesn't always it gave me messed up edges it doesn't always fuse correctly so i'm not a big fan of the we are memory keepers fuse tool maybe they changed it i don't know but i prefer the um the food sealer method because i can use it for a lot you know different types of material i can use it for vinyl well really thin pieces of vinyl and i have an ig live that shows like a longer detailed process um, so if you want to look at that I may try to upload it later on my channel but I wanted to get this one out first since it was already filmed so I'm finally sharing it here on my channel but yeah I'm just finishing these up and once I get them all together you'll see me um, about to, well I punched the holes off camera but you'll see me start adding these pages to different planners and journals that I have so I hope you enjoyed it but here taking my different planners and just showing you up close a better view of the finished dashboards And I call them dashboards, but you can you real they can be really whatever you want them to be. They can be whatever purpose you want them to be for. You can add pictures. Um, as you can see, I I didn't make it the same size as the planner page because at the time I only had um, certain size photo pockets. I didn't feel like going to the store. So you can go to the store and get a bigger one or you can make custom sizes yourself from those sheet protectors or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to put them in different planners that I have. Did I even use the planners? That's the bigger question. That really doesn't matter. But that's the end of this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I would appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.